my amazing artists. Today I'm going to read you the story on Ree's Scissors by Jeanette Winter. Stay tuned to the end to find out what activity you could do to go along with the story. I hope you enjoy it. On Ree's Scissors by Jeanette Winter. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henri Emile Benoit Matisse watched his mother paint china. He wanted to paint too. He drew pictures in the sand, and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henri was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henri was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints, and he painted until he was well. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left a small town to be an artist in Paris. Henri painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy, and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint. So ill he couldn't sit up. So ill he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes, and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well. Before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. Matisse cut paper all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him all day. It seems to me that I am in a second life. Paper cutouts covered his walls. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in his sleep. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, and bird. I am deeply contented, happy. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden, and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henri's scissors? Hmm, perhaps. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story on Henri Matisse's life. Now here is an activity that you can do at home. Okay, okay boys and girls, what you're going to need is you'll need a dark paper for the background, a glue stick, some scissors, and then some scraps of different papers in all different colors. Doesn't matter what colors you choose. Try to make them bright. Try to make them different. Now, Henri Matisse liked to create different shapes. So basically, what you get to do is just use your imagination and decide what kind of shapes you want to cut out. You could start with some geometric shapes, cut out some squares or rectangles. You can even use the pieces that you've cut and have left over as different parts of your collage. As you go through, try to mix it up. Make some shapes that are maybe are a little more organic, not so geometric. You can also overlap some of your shapes as you cut them out by putting them on top of each other or hiding some behind. Have fun with it. You can even try to cut some spirals out. Now spirals can be a little harder, so just try your best. The fun part about this, boys and girls, is just trying out new things. It may not always come out perfect or how you want it to begin with, but it's fun to try it, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. And like I said, don't forget when you cut out a shape, it leaves you with some really cool scraps that you can use also. See how I'm kind of just moving them around? I'm not gonna glue anything down until I find the composition that I like the best. You can even try to cut out some rounder shapes. Just have fun with it. 
I'm gonna use some more of my scraps. I can connect some of the pieces. Once you move your shapes around and you find the design that you want, that's when you take your glue stick out. Make sure that your glue is pushed up enough where you can take your pieces and then you just get started. And if your pieces move around like you can see mine are as you're going, that's fine. Just take it, stick it down, and then try it out and find out where you want it again. Okay. Once you've glued everything on, there's your Henri Matisse composition. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I look forward to seeing you again soon.